Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lapix. Getting another video for you guys today. You guys are all doing well. We got in this uh, MacBook, and it's a nice rose gold MacBook, and it's in here for repair. If you guys didn't already know, we're located right outside of Washington D.C., Northern Virginia. We take lots of melons from you guys, uh, especially like this one here. If you guys are interested in doing a melon for any type of MacBook repair, MacBook not charging, MacBook not powering on, we have MacBooks for data recovery. We'd love to help you guys out. Okay, so we're gonna plug it in, and we plug in the top. And oh, look at that. So the plugin at the top does absolutely nothing. So there is something going on, right? Because it's not registering. Um, that does indicate a problem. And let's plug in the bottom. We see the bottom, we are getting uh, what's called a voltage there, which is your five volts. Uh, we're not getting what we're supposed to be getting, which is 20 volts, because this converts over. So let's see how the board is reacting with thermal imaging. So I'm gonna plug in the top port to the top. And let's see, well, I might need to hold it from the bottom there just so it doesn't disconnect. Let's see what happens. So if I plug in the top port there, no voltage. It looks completely dead, right? And it's plugged in, you don't see any light. Well, you might not see any light there. So, but let's switch it up. So we know the voltage is coming from the bottom one. So if we plug in the bottom one, wait a minute. That doesn't seem right. Why does the bottom one make the top connection go a little bit warm? That's very strange. So what this means is for every port that you have here, you have what's called your USB-C circuit or your CD32 um, chip. And those are your Texas instrument chips that you can see when we go into the microscope, you'll see a little bit better, a little bit closer. And you have to have one for each port. Not only do you have to have one for each port, but you have to have one for each port working and all have to work for them to communicate together. And when the top one gives an issue, the bottom one has an issue. So it's a cycle that never ends. So if you have four of them, you have more points of failure, more potential issues. So what we need to do is we need to replace that top one so we can get both of them working properly. So I noticed when I was cleaning this that there is an area over here that looks to be missing. This is a C3214 and it looks like it is part of the USB-C area. It might have been knocked or something. It's very strange how that is just totally missing. So we're going to also replace that as well as do a replacement for the C32. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the board under here. Let's see. Let's go back to our thermal cam. You can see in the corner, looks good. I can see in the uh, voltage, we're getting 20 volts, but we'll show that just a little bit. But if I plug in the bottom, you can see the bottom one gets a little bit warm too. It's very, very normal compared to what it was from before. So let's plug it in, let's test it out. Volts 20. And it powers on. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video on learning more about the CD32 and how it packs a lot of MacBooks. There's one really good example of, uh, of the circuit failing and we're fixing it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it really helps us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.